it's important to understand how blueprints and code interact. Blueprints are the things that designers and artists will create. This is how a designer would create a blueprint actor. Blueprints can use and extend your C++ code. Let's create our first code actor. Normally to create new class files, I just navigate to the folder that I want and create a new file here. You might be tempted if you're familiar with Visual Studio to create the actor by just right clicking add new item and adding your CPP and header files or class, but this will put your files in the wrong location. This intermediate folder is a temporary folder that can be deleted with build cleans. So make sure you browse to the place you actually want this file to be. Add, and we'll say OK. But if you look, despite telling Visual Studio that we wanted to put it in the other folder, it put it in the intermediate folder. So this is why I just make my files outside of Visual Studio. So I find the folder I would like my class to be in, and just add a new text file. And I create a corresponding CPP file. Generally, you might want to post your header in a public folder and your CPP in a private folder, but for simplicity, I'm going to put them in the same folder. Now, Visual Studio won't detect these files until we regenerate the project files. The way to do that is open it up, navigate to your root directory, right-click on the new project, generate Visual Studio project files. This will allow IntelliSense to detect your file. When you regenerate your project files, in order for Visual Studio to completely refresh, it needs to stop debugging the editor. This will close the editor. So now, like any C++ header file, we need to add our include card. Now, we could write regular C++, but that wouldn't be exposed to the engine. If we want the editor to detect and be able to use our classes, then we have to follow a certain pattern and make sure certain requirements are met. So I'll start by just writing my class. But we do need to fix this up. Unreal uses a tool called the Unreal Header tool to generate code for you to make this work with the editor. One requirement is that you must include a generated file as the last include in your list of includes. The name of that file is just the file name. And then generated.h. Now, since this is going to be an actor, the Unreal naming convention is to prefix this with an A, and we need to inherit from actor. And since actor is an actor, it's prefixed A. And now I can ask Visual Assist to include this header for me. And notice that it put the include above our generated include. It's important that all the includes are above this generated file. Now we're not quite done yet. We need to properly set up this class. Since this is a class that Blueprint will be extending, it needs to be a U class. This is a macro that you put it on top of your class, and metadata can go in these parentheses. We'll get to that in a moment. The other requirement is that you need to do a generated body macro call. Now this should be enough to get our class working with the engine. There's nothing in it yet, but we can compile now, and if there's any issues, under a header tool will tell us about them before we actually compile the code. Having a class that does nothing is not very useful. So what we will do is we'll override a common function called begin play using Visual Assistant Control Shift Q. We can do implement virtual methods and do begin play. Notice that we can call the super method by just calling super colon colon begin play. The super type def is defined for us. In our CVP file, we need to include our header file. So I'll ask Visual Assist to include. Now we can compile this and use it in the editor. Since we properly set up our class, we can now see that the C++ class is visible in the editor under C++ classes. If we go to our Blueprint class, we can go to File, Reparent Blueprint. I can say my first actor, which is the name of our class. We've now reparented this Blueprint actor to our code class. In the blueprint, if we add something to visualize this, so let's say a cube, and we go into the editor, throw our cube into the world, since we overrode begin play, we should be able to drop a breakpoint here. And when we play, we should be able to step through our custom code. As you can see, we're in the code and we have a call stack. Instead of making the files yourself, if you have the engine running within your code hierarchy, under the C++ classes, you can right-click and say new class. You can specify what the parent class should be, and this will generate the files for you.
though you will have to reload your Visual Studio solution. This will force you to stop debugging. You may have noticed this API macro, which is a bit beyond the scope of this video, but just know that this enables this class to be used by other plugins by exporting DLL symbols. This only scratches the surface of what you can do with Blueprint and code. In further videos, we'll start getting to the details.